Asset Management or Turnover Measures Now we will cover how to measure the efficiency of a company. These ratios are often called Asset Management or Utilization Ratios. The ratios that we will discuss can be interpreted as measures of turnover. They are tended to describe how efficiently a firm uses its assets to generate revenues. The Inventory Turnover Ratio the inventory turnover ratio measures how many times in a year a company sells its inventory. It's calculated as cost of goods sold divided by inventory. In our example, our cost of goods sold is $1.4 million. And we have $425,000 in inventory. Therefore, our inventory turnover ratio is 3.29. What this is implying is that this company sells its inventory 3.29 times per year. As long as the company is not running out of stock, then the higher the number, the more efficient the company is. Once you have the inventory turnover ratio, you can then figure out how long it took on average to turn the inventory over. You would do this with the ratio called the Days Sales and Inventory. This ratio is calculated by using 365 divided by the inventory turnover ratio. Therefore, our day sales and inventory would be 365 divided by 3.29 equaling 111 days. This ratio says the inventory sat for 111 days. Receivables turnover and day sales and receivables. The receivables turnover ratio is a ratio that measures how fast a company collects its credit sales. It's calculated as sales divided by accounts receivable. In our example, we have $2.4 million in sales, and our accounts receivable is $187,000. This gives us a receivables turnover of 12.83. Loosely, this is saying that we collected our outstanding credit sales and lent them out again 12.83 times. Day sales and receivables. Receivables turnovers make more sense if we convert them into days. Therefore, we can do 365 days divided by the receivables turnover and this would be our day sales and receivables. In our example we'll do 365 days divided by our receivables turnover of 12.3. This says that on average we collect our sales in 29.67 days. This is often called the average collection period. This ratio also implies that there are 29.67 days worth of sales outstanding. Total Asset Turnover This is more of a focusing on the big picture type of ratio. This ratio measures how much revenues are generated for each dollar in assets. In other words, how efficiently is management using the assets? The Total Asset Turnover Ratio is calculated by sales divided by total assets.